I don't know. I'm like sure he, he does, only but... plays CI, I think. Yeah. No, I mean, I think he plays a lot of heroes. No, I mean he does, but he does. All right, I'm sorry. I, I'm being uh, facetious. Ake is uh, actually gonna oh, probably Ake. die. Yeah, he's dead. He's just is he dead? Mitch, the last stack gets the kill. That is sick. One, he does have a gill up in one, but he will not chase up to the high ground. And yeah, then they should be back in from uh, refraction charges at level two. Yep. Piecat hexed up. Earth Spike about to fly. It looks like does connect. Now the Firefly for Mitch. Piecat in some trouble here. Has Gale. Will he use it? And I think he actually doesn't hit it. He wasn't ahead of him. And now they get the kill on. Oh, Milan goes down to Piecat. The tower getting the kill. At least Piecat gets a little bit back there. So I think um, it's picked that agents are a factor. Mitch is going to get concussive shotted. Uh, no Omni yet for Loda. He's getting there. Uh, they're gonna maybe find Cole with a kill, but he's just gonna pop that refraction. Extremely costly mistakes. No TPs. I mean, they could have all just ran back so many times. RP on to three, on to four, I think even. Now that maybe the black hole, Matt doesn't have the mana to use it. His soul ring actually was on cooldown. Not that it matters. They blow up all three of those heroes in short order. But here comes Gogi. Here comes Gogi. Matt's gonna fall. Skewer in. Nico, buddy, I don't think you want to fight this. Blink forward. Mana void on cooldown still for another 20 seconds. Nico about to go down. Wave of tear. The last right click. Double kill for Gogi. They won't chase any trap. Milan going further. Melt strike. Earth spike. They have finger. Kaboom. They zap him finger blasted Matt goes down and uh I was nearby he needs no, to make a play it's he sees Mitch he's gonna skewer in he doesn't get into the pit he's on the high ground now they take the ages RP out of two but Nico is already dead Ake's gonna run in Loda as well the Mantis out coming out Matt he does oh, have black heck? hole the figure coming out they get a huge mana void Matt is gonna fall double kill for Gogi Loda getting chased out Aki as well and they're turning this fight they're turning the game they get three kills. They lose Milan. They lose the bench. They lose the supports. They don't give a damn. Gogi gets wow. the Aegis in what this an game. Malefis first. Midnight Pulse and actually backs away. Whoever pressed it. two is a winner. But now Gogi runs in on his own. Now Loda does still have Omni Slash. They actually silence him up. Gogi just about to die, but now coming in, Lasso gets off of Piecat, also gets off the Poison Nova. Cole jumps in, Earth Spike, figure of death, Black Hole going in, swap out, they keep him alive. Now the RP on it too, Cole about to fall, there's gonna be the Aegis, and Gogi is about to be the only one alive. Two gems on the deck, Gogi getting silenced up, Manta Style not available apparently for 10 seconds. Atos as well, he's gonna fall again, triple kill for Loda. What a turn of events. It's uh, Poison Nova up to the high ground. He's going to try to TP Skewered back to the low ground. Mitch, you are not making it out alive, buddy. Goodbye, Mr. Bat and Mr. Bat Rider. Blink forward from Nikwa. The Horde of Magnus looking for a Skewer, looking for a Shockwave, looking for something. Lazard is, I think, dead. And uh, that'll, yeah, he's... Wave of Terror, Shockwave. Get that illusion room. Nice. Body block. Almost. And you're dead. This has to be somehow the biggest favorable engagement I've ever seen. Blink, the lasso mad. RP could come at any moment right now. Mad is still in trouble. Pops the BKB. RP on to four, on to all five. Black hole. They swap out, but it's too goddamn late. Lazar is going to get skewered. How does this continue to happen? And all five are laying on the ground. Uh, already, Lotus running in. Mitch is going to get Omni Slash. Swap out. Lazar might. Yeah, Lazar will actually just kill himself. Loda's gonna get caught. He is gonna get lasso. No four staff. Might die to the fountain. Actually pops the Mantis out. Flame break back in. And Gogi's not keeping back anytime soon. A big dive, and now Alliance go for the tier fours. They're going for the jugular. Gogi actually is just he doesn't seem to care. Finally TPing back. Glyph's available. He's gonna have to use it sooner rather than later. This might be the end for MYI. Cole jumps in, BKB, Black Hole on to two. Loda fighting up on the Gogu, silenced up. He can't really turn this fight on. Cole still going to work. Nikwa taking a lot of damage. Goes down, gets the kill. It's a three for one so far. Gogi has to run out, run back in. Mantis style pops. Gale misses. Buyback coming in for the line. Now, do they have a glyph? Mad. TP's back into the base. Loda about to fall, but that's just the ages. Pycat as well will go down. Ake, so low. Now Loda just turns his attention to Gogi. If Gogi falls here, in which he will. That is game. Alliance will take it. 2-0.
at 42 minutes in, in one of the strangest games I've ever seen. Alliance, they make sure there is no throw, there's no 3 2 2, and they take the game. Yeah, very, very odd game, like you said. I think um, I definitely, you know, like the draft from MYI this game. I think it was better than their other drafts. The TA really didn't pay off for them. Um, I think, you know, maybe if they had a mid hero that was more control oriented or, you know, something that offered a bit more in these team fights, they might have had a, a real shot to win this game, but.